well, it smells delicious in this kitchen. Welcome, welcome. Thank Rachel you. Perrin, yeah. culinary director from Kowalski's. You are mixing together some we're, yummy we're, we're soups. We're talking about Sarah? soups. Yes. Yeah, I know, but soups that are kind of summery flavored because oh, wouldn't summery we all flavored. love okay. a summery meal today something like <laughs> yes. Yes. a bacon cheeseburger or some barbecued chicken mm, sounds but delicious we're not i like where your head's at <laughs> on, our, on our grill today we're actually going to turn our summer favorites into a bowl of soup because right. it's a little more appropriate for the season yeah. seasonally so we're going to take all the flavors we love in those two dishes and kind of cook up a, a nice pot of hot soup here today. So in the first pot, we're gonna do a bacon cheeseburger soup. Mm. One of my favorite summertime foods. And this starts with a little bit of ground beef, some onions and jalapenos, and a little bit of garlic. So we're giving, oh, you know, some jalapenos. of the jalapenos. I thought those were green peppers. Smelling. Yeah. A little, jalapeno may be a little bit better with the, with the cheeseburger than a bell pepper, but you could certainly go with um, bell or you could leave it out. And what we're gonna do from here is gonna add in some of the other flavors that we get in uh, bacon cheeseburgers. So we're going to um, start with a con you want to put that in there? Great. Whatever you want me to help you with. It's yeah, a cheddar matter. cheese soup. It comes in a can like this in the grocery aisle. It's a condensed soup. You're going to want to just plop that in there. That's a lot of cheese. It's two cans worth, and this is going to feed six people. That's good. And then, Cody, if you want to grab the chicken stock next to you, oh, we're going to add a little bit of liquid here to, to kind of get that all evened out. How much of this? About half of it. We're going to oh, save boy. the rest for the other one. And then it's okay. It's and then we'll it everywhere. That's okay. That's good. And then we're going to let the heat do its work here and kind of melt the, the soup into the stock. And then we're going to add some other cheeseburger-like flavors. A little bit of Worcestershire is going to balance everything out. I'm sorry, say that out. again. Cheeseburgery flavors. That's a very, <laughs> that's a very technical, chef-like term, cheeseburgery. And then... And so is Worcestershire. <laughs> Worcestershire, <laughs> one of my favorites. I can say it, but I can't spell it. Yeah. <laughs> Same here. And then we're going to bring it to a boil. Really, all you need to do here is make this hot. And then from there, we're going to add in, instead of a bun, we're going to use some uh, egg noodles. These are just noodles that I cooked um, just a few minutes ago. We're just going to put those in for our little starch component. And then here's where the fun really uh, comes into play. It wouldn't be a cheeseburger without some dill pickles. Oh, so a little yeah. bit of dill pickle relish kind of goes in there. In a soup. In I a would soup. never have dreamed it's of that. It's going to give it a nice acid um, kind of balance to that really rich cheddar flavor. And then in the end, we're going to finish it off, and we're going to garnish it with a little bit bacon. of, of course, some bacon, <laughs> and instead of raw onions, like we might put on our burger, some French fried onions here to finish oh, it off. Man. This I'm is drooling. I'm drooling. I know. <laughs> that looks really good. We're going to also make some ba uh, barbecue chicken, though, here. And this one, instead of having beef in it, we're going to put in just the onions and the jalapenos, a little bit of garlic. Okay. And then for some heat, some chili powder and some cumin. Excellent. A little bit of salt. And then here, again little helper in the kitchen is the condensed soup. This is a condensed tomato soup. Just comes in a little red and white can in the grocery aisle. Throw is that it in just there. just one can or two? This is, again, two cans. Okay. And then the same deal. We're going to add in some chicken stock. I will do the honors. Don't spill it everywhere <laughs> like I did. <laughs> it's a little tricky. Put the whole thing over the pot. Oh. And it kind of does that. And I'll let you stir that, Leah. And then I like to add in here, of course, some barbecue sauce to give it that barbecue Ooh, flavor. Yeah, yeah. This is our smoky sweet Kowalski's barbecue sauce, which is my favorite. Gives it a nice little tang and just a little bit of heat. Great for kids. And then I'm going to put in some black beans just for fun, just to give this soup a little bit of body. Mm -hmm. Got to add some protein. Got to yeah, add protein. something. I mean, I just think it tastes really nice and it's good for you too, which doesn't hurt. Oh, and there's and then some, some more protein. Rotisserie chicken, of course. That's chicken chicken soup, so why not? Again, bring that to a bubble. And then this one, once it's hot, I like to add in a little bit of half and half to it. This is Ooh, really? a, somewhat optional, but I think it gives it a nice creamy uh, texture in the end. Um, and then, so if you're looking for a creamy soup, you add the half and half. Yeah, and if not, maybe put in just a little bit more chicken stock to oh, give okay. it a little bit uh, you know, more liquid in there to kind of even everything and out. And these come together fast. I think of a soup a lot of times. I think of it, it the crock pot. I think of right. hours and hours. And it and takes hours. a long time for yeah. the flavor to develop. These but these fast. have flavor right out of the get-go, so they're good to go. And there Yum, you go. and those are the finished products. Yeah. Oh. I know, and if you, guys, if you want to, we can give them a try. Oh, Cody, you do you have a preference? Yeah, I'll go for the you chicken. You seem like a bacon cheeseburger yeah, guy. I have I a feeling. Am. And then like the barbecue the chicken. chicken over here, too. Right. And the key with the um, the bacon, or the barbecue mm. chicken, I just want to say, is not to put the oh, half yeah. and half in and boil it, because it will start to separate a little bit. So oh, if you yeah. do add the half and half, um, just let it come up to, you know, just to a simmer. Okay, keep your spoon. We're trading. Oh, we're trading. Try that one. I already dunked it, so That's okay. you have my germs. That was really good. This I is good. This and you're going to like That's the, got a little bit of the pickle to it. flavor. Yeah. yeah. Well, the jalapeno gives it a little bit of heat. A little of bit of a too. kick. That was good. Um, but I think you'll be surprised with those pickle relish. It really mm. makes the 
makes Ooh, the soup. Good. I like pickles, so that's yeah. really good. And that sort of, is that your substitute for the salt? The, the salt? Seems, well, yeah. the French fried onions are definitely going to give a, a little bit too. more salt to it as well. Um, you'll want to adjust the salt Anymore. and pepper depending on the, the stock maybe that you use. Delicious. They have levels of sodium in them. So. And all these ingredients obviously available at Kowalski's. Obviously. If, you know, yeah. A lot of them are jars and cans and things that we have stocked up in the pantry anyways. Absolutely. <laughs> you may even have most of this at home in your kitchen today anyway. So. And, all right. and of course if you missed anything, you couldn't write it down fast enough, you can uh, go to myfox9.com. We have all the recipes on there. Just click on the morning show tab and it should be right there for you. Rachel Perrin, thank you very much Thanks for joining for us. Me. We thank are you. going to have a feast after the show. Delicious.